advice are down a little while Cause I'm in a running for quite a long But your mind of ice are down and close my eyes It's late and it's dark Took a shortcut through the park Stars are high been dancing down Raven Hill. I remember those days we went missing, we spent kissing. My mama calls me away, darling, listen, you won't miss him. Cause I've been running for far too long. Would you mind if I sat down a little while? Morgan, welcome back to the BBC Studios. Thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. Dancing Down Ravenhill. This a song's very close to your heart. It's about growing up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's basically about growing up um, where I live and memories of kind of dancing down the streets late at night and skipping through the park, taking shortcuts and that kind of thing. And it's about coming back from now I'm away at college, coming back and seeing the streets and knowing that you've had those little times there, you know, and all the memories flood back to you then. But you might not go back dancing exactly. through the streets again. Exactly, It's just a memory yeah. now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. How yeah. long are you writing now, Morgan? Because as a, you know, as a writer, people sing from whatever age or enjoy singing. But what about writing? How many years? Well, I've always kind of written wee songs. You know, when you're kids, you're always making stuff up. You're playing, um, writing plays, writing songs. Since I could remember, like five years old, trying to form bands. But um, then everything kind of got a bit more serious when I was about 15. Started writing songs that I was kind of proud of and that I'd maybe show to people in the 
in the sense that I was a singer-songwriter as opposed to just for fun. What about performing live? I know you were playing as part of the Belfast Nashville Festival. Yeah. How was that for you for a start? Absolutely fantastic. I was playing actually with Cathy McKegney who was um, playing the piano there for me and uh, we were on stage with Nancy Griffith in the round and uh, it was absolutely fantastic. It, her um, her songs were just amazing and Alanda Henderson was up there as well and it was kind of the better she played and the better Alana played the better I played. Everyone kind of kept spurring each other on. And by the end of it, we were all kind of just wrapped up in this kind of atmosphere. And then actually at the end of it, she asked um, for both of us, Kathy and myself, and also Alana to join her the next day in her own solo concert. So that was amazing, amazing. So what do you learn from something like that from a songwriter of, of Nancy's stature? Oh. Because this is a woman who's written some incredible songs yeah. down the years and, and worked with some incredible people. And you're on stage there at the same time. What are you gathering from that? Are you watching stagecraft or, or what do you actually take from an experience like that? Definitely. It's kind of hard to watch her because I, all I want to do is kind of enjoy the songs as an audience member, but then kick in and then try and study her kind of. And she's just so poised, so calm. And that's something I'm really trying to work on. So I've been watching people like her, just the way she interacts with the audience. That's one thing I really need to work on. I'm a bit scared talking to people, <laughs> making jokes, that kind of thing. But she has all these quips, all these stories to go with her songs and they're just fantastic. So that really sets the mood for her songs as well. I think that's why people love her so much. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for doing the live number four as well. It was a Morgan pleasure. Morgan McIntyre, thank you very much. Thank you very much.